all exists to be burned. And the sun, our ultimate source of energy, is a ball of fire. It has allowed the planets of our solar system to exist because one day, its energy will build up and allow it to combust in a massive supernova, capturing and destroying all in its glorious flames. Death by fire is the destiny of humanity. It is the destiny of everything. Jack, I think you may have missed the point of the assignment. What? What, what do you mean? You were supposed to write an essay on how The Great Gatsby relates to the American dream. And instead, you write an 18-page piece on the fiery apocalypse? I would have hoped you learned your lesson after the, the two times you've done something like this. Go back to your desk. Uh, oh, um, okay. Dude, he's such a freak. Dude, I know. Like, why is he so obsessed with fire? What a weirdo. Oh, you'll get yours, teacher. You and the rest of this miserable school. It is! Why can't they see a red fire? Why do you have to be so Look who it is. It's Flame Boy. Hello, Rufus. Oh, hey. Starting to fires lately? Probably. No. No? You didn't? I would have thought you did because you like fire so much. Whatever, I don't have time for idiots like you. Yeah, well maybe you should make time. Huh? You ever think about that? <laughs> you think I'm an idiot? Why do you think I'm an idiot? I'm not an idiot. I think you're an idiot because you repeated the ninth grade ten times. Yeah, well practice makes perfect, jerk. <laughs> That's it. I, I'm done taking all this crap from everyone and them call me a freak. I know exactly what I'm going to do. I want to burn things with my mind. Oh, perfect. If you need to find them, go to the telekinesis section and then look under pyrokinesis. This looks like it'd be a good one. Step one, imagine a ball of fire forming inside of your mind. Step two, crumple up a ball of paper and then place it down on a flat surface. And now step three, imagine the ball of fire leaving your mind and consuming the piece of paper in front of you or anything else you may want to try and burn. As you look at this sentence, and yes, it is a sentence, the way to unlock its meaning is to consider the fact that the city bullies the animal. Buffalo. This is what buffalo, happens when you insult buffalo, the power buffalo, of fire, Mr. Teacher. Buffalo, buffalo, buffalo. Jack, you seem like you're taking an interest in the buffalo. Huh? Are you getting it? Yes. So you understand? Yes. Uh, Excellent. Everybody, please write down the sentence. Okay, class. Tonight for homework, I want you to make sure that you write this sentence out in a way that demonstrates understanding. So, be the buffalo. Thank you. Class dismissed. Hey, what's up, buddy? How's it going, flame boy? <laughs> oh, uh, hey, hey, Rufus, I'm doing good. And how are you? Oh, I'm doing all right. Well, I was until I found out that you were doing good because I don't like it when you're doing good. <laughs> Uh, so what are you going to do, Rufus? What? What, what do you mean, what am I going to do? What are you going to do? I'm going to set you on fire. You're going to set me on fire? Yes. With my mind. Burn.
Uh, hey there, sport. What's the problem? I got hit in the nose. Hit in the nose? That's no good. Yeah. Want some gauze for that bad boy? Yeah, why do you think I'm here? Okay. Here you go. Think you can patch yourself up? Uh, yeah. Excellent. Alrighty. Anything else? Are you actually a nurse? Hey, don't. Don't worry about it, kid. School, school nurse requirements aren't what they used to be. Oh, uh, one more thing. What happened to those guys? Oh, these poor guys. Uh, Weird. They were just in the hallway, minding their own business, and this. Uh, bam. Catch on fire out of nowhere. Out of nowhere? Out of nowhere. Poor guys. Some of the worst burns I've ever seen. Uh, I feel great. Yeah, it's almost as if. Gosh. What now? Some freshman in his 20s caught fire, too. I, I gotta go. It worked. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> oh, boy. It's getting kind of hot in here. Ha <laughs> <laughs>